Hey, it's Chloe from the Block Boxed Avenue. Today I am sprucing up my living room and I wanted to invite you in with me for another episode of Decorate With Me. There was a little bit of controversy on Instagram about this new piece of furniture that I just added into the living room. So I wanted to get your opinion on it. Let's go ahead and get started. So I should give you guys a little bit of a backstory on why I started to redecorate this room. Way back in December, I started to redesign the living room. I've had my sofas for four or five years now, and I'm really ready for something new. They're not totally my style anymore, so I was really excited to be able to partner with Sixpenny. They have ordered a new sofa, it's just not quite here yet. And then I purchased these chairs from Lulu in Georgia. And after that, I felt like I was really itching, really ready to go to start redecorating the living room. I also got this new coffee table when I was in Round Top. Well, it's an old coffee table, but it's new to me. And we brought that home, and Lulu and Georgia had sent me this rug. So I feel like a lot of new things have happened in here, and I was ready to kind of bring it back into my style because for a while I've just been really working with what I had. It didn't quite translate into my current style. When I put together the design, I knew I wanted to put something in this corner because we have the fireplace on this side of the room and it feels really heavy on that side of the room and I wanted to balance that out with something in this corner. I found the perfect black piece of furniture. It's industrial, it's really cool, it's a little bit more contemporary and I absolutely love it. But it is nearly $1,500, $1,500. It's expensive. So it's one of those things where I thought, oh, do I really want to buy that? Do I need it? And then I remembered that I had this chest of drawers in my office. It actually just store was storing all of my fabric. And so I thought, oh well, why don't I bring that out here just for the time being and then I'll see if I really do like having a piece of furniture on the side of the room, blah, blah, blah. So I brought it out and I felt like it really just fit this side of the room. Or my style is pretty vintage. I say it's like modern vintage. It kind of combines new contemporary pieces with a lot of vintage old wood to create this sort of transitional style. So when I brought this out and I started styling it, I was like, well, I really like this. So I posted it on Instagram and so many people said at first, buy the black piece, don't keep the wood piece. And that was before I had shown it kind of like all styled. And so I don't even remember how many people had voted, but then I styled it and I took another picture and I had everybody revote. And the pendulum swung, over 2,500 people voted to keep the wood piece. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, down the road, I may want to buy the black piece and move this piece somewhere else. But for now, I think it's such a good lesson in just working with what you have. Of course, it's fun to add something new and to really design your house exactly how you want it, but it's not always possible. So I'm really excited to be able to use this. It was Greg's grandmother's. Um, his mom texted me and said, oh, my mom loved that piece. And so it was even more special to have it in our house. Right now, I just have a framed piece of fabric, which is a great and expensive art hack above the chest of drawers. And then I also have a piece of art hanging here. I just framed fabric for now, just so I can kind of see the room come to life. I ordered one of Miss Mustard Seeds fine art oil prints that she does and I'm really excited to get it. I just got a shipping notification so I'll be sure to share that once it comes in. I have a lot of pieces in my shop in this room right now. I've got those vintage granite bowls that are really cool and really popular in the shop. I've got the African beads which are also available in my shop. Sorry, this isn't an infomercial for my shop, but can you tell I really like everything in my shop? I got some questions as to where I purchased the pillows. A lot of the pillows I've made or are just vintage from Etsy and then the green ones are from McGee & Co. I don't think they sell them at McGee & Co. anymore, but I will find another source for you because I think it's like a Zach and Fox fabric. So I think you can probably get them on Etsy. I'll put a link in the description below. Now in my design back that I did in December, I really thought that I would add some curtains in here, but oh, I've gone back and forth. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think that I'm kind of leaning on no curtains. If I added curtains, I don't think I would have room for this here. I'd have to find something new or even just do something as simple as a tree. And then I'd have to lose this art too. So I feel like those are two elements of the room that are more interesting than curtains. So I don't think I'm gonna add curtains, but I may change my mind, we'll see. I'm going to wait until the sofa gets here and then once the sofa gets here, we'll see how it all comes together. But until then, I'm really loving the way this room feels. It feels very layered and eclectic. I love all of the vintage textiles I've got going on and the vintage pieces. I love the green tones that I have coming through on the pillows and then on the space that I've got back here. So all in all, I really like the way that this room is feeling. Alrighty, that wraps up this episode of Decorate With Me. 
I'm gonna go take my goats for a walk. I hope that you're feeling inspired. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. Don't forget, you can always visit me at boxofavenue.com.